There was even a live stream by this guy that calls people fat, but he's got giant man boobs, a failed comic book artist. Uh, called me trash while he uh, blamed Nick's children. I thought you actually had to put a comic book out to be considered an artist. It's true. Uh, bl he blamed Nick's children for uh, all the problems that were going on. They should have stepped up. Why didn't Nick's kids step up? I just don't. That's what a what a stupid fucking take that is. Mm. Fucking piece of shit. Why he's driving around drunk, by the way, with his kid in the car. That's a video that's out there now. Wait, but anyway. who's driving around drunk? Well, uh, that, well Flash, that's up to you. <laughs> I'm out of the loop, sorry. The video is out? Here's the thing. Oh, you there's know, a video out there getting there blasted is. at a Phillies game and at the casino, and then uh, his kid multiple times in the video says, Dad, you're kind of fucked up right now. Should you be driving? I, I, I would never, ever. Is this the guy whose name starts with an E? I, yeah. Did, 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 okay. did, yeah, yeah. I mean, look, I would never, ever question oh, scumbag out there out there blaming the kids for this well, that's a, a weird that's a weird move man yeah, yeah that five-year-old why didn't that five-year-old pack their lunch as a father of three, i can't imagine what children living in a household watching their parents literally self-destruct in that manner are going through i mean i I will, as a father, I'll bitch at my kids. Hey, pick your shit up. Do this. Go do some dishes. Oh, wait, your laundry's dirty? Go wash it. My kids are between the ages of 13 and 19 almost. I mean, they, they're, they're capable of taking care of themselves. But they don't have two completely dysfunctional parents that are being self-destroyed by drugs. Um, you know, I'm not perfect, but I'm not there. And to, to, I mean, to try to suggest that kids in that situation and all of those kids have probably tug, you pick this up. You're the expert here. I'm a lay person. I can't imagine that those, all of those kids would not be suffering some from severe depression and to try to put them on the spot to say, oh, they should just be taking care of themselves, pick it up and move on. It's like, yeah, maybe there are some kids out there that could have that kind of resolve that could do that, but 99% of them, I can't imagine, could possibly be expected to, you know, pick up their bootstraps and, and do that at those young, tender ages, watching their parents in that state. I just, I can't imagine. Well, the, apparently the 16-year-old should have been, he should have become the father of uh, all the other kids and <sighs> and just stepped up which yeah. is the stupidest fucking take he should have been ever working. heard he should have been working to make much the kids eat yeah him, him, and, uh, him and those two other cutie defenders he by the way uh who the hell defends a, Ethan, cuties uh ethan's best friends uh are you kidding me oh yeah uh eat so, the Netflix quartering cuties. the quartering wow uh retweeted ethan's nuclear bad take Mm -hmm. And he responded, which was, it was so funny to me. Cause he's like, he talks about quartering saying that, uh, he only knows kids from banned Netflix documentaries, which is weird because cuties isn't banned, but it's like, dude, you hang out with Dick Masterson and Vito, the biggest cutie defenders out there literally run damage control for cuties left and right. Mm -hmm. The fuck are you talking about? I mean, do these guys wear raincoats and drive? How those fearsome numbers looking? Yeah, that's bad. But um, no yeah, wonder you're yeah. obsessed with Eric July. I have a question. What's fearsome? Is that a comic book? I'm so out of the loop. I guess <laughs> yeah, like, not a lot of people. <laughs> not a lot of people back in it. I can and tell Demian you. And Demian breaks the tension there. I don't know. Yeah, I, I thought know. we were reviewing uh, leaked messages, not catching damn. strays because yeah. you're random. <laughs> I'm, I'm not catching just, strays from all these people. I'm going to the end. Take the rights. But real quick, Chepo team, Chepo team for twenty says, "I'm a big fan of yours, Yellow Flash, but I believe EVS's take is that." When you're in a when you're in a situation like this, you may grow up faster and responsible instead of staying in a spoiled lifestyle. I say that because I also grew up with bad parents. Well, you know what this is doing? Talking about 
the kids who I'm pretty sure are already going through enough. Why are we talking about his, his kids and blaming them in any capacity during this right now? Mm-hmm. Uh, it distracts from who is really at fault, which is Nick mm-hmm. and Kayla, who fell down a really shitty path. But also, that's a reflection on their parenting. Sitting here blaming the kids is mm-hmm. what people are calling ball washing and but also, too, just in regards to that comment, yes, it does have the potential. It does have the potential for the kids to grow, yes, but it also has the potential for the kids to yeah. go the other way too. And even like, if they 100%. do grow up, it's <laughs> going to give them baggage. It's not like, oh, it, yeah. you just it's sped up the clock. Oh, I'm it's okay. A dangerous now. situation. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I think it's taking two different views of of the same situation. Because Flash, if I could like understand what you, I don't know if it comes through in what was leaked. But I think you were trying to appeal directly to Nick through his sense of Correct. fatherhood, parenthood, yep. to think of the kids, to be protective of the kids. You That's know, right. and I well, think I think Ethan might have been coming from a place where he was saying the kids have been given this hand. You know, this is this is the cards they were dealt. So you have to wash yourself, you have to take care of yourself. You know what I mean? If your parents are not going to, it's a very scary situation to be in. But if you are thrust into that, what can you do? You know what I mean? Like if you're a teenager or whatever, I'm not sure how old they are, but if your parents are are just like burnt out that bad, are you going to go down with them? If you're self-aware, like I can understand if you're like a little child or whatever, then it's it's terrible. What are you going to do? You know, you you need child protective services. Mm -hmm. But if you're an older teenager, you know what I mean? It's like you can't let your burnout parents drag you down. So, I mean, it's a it's an unmistakable problem that's going on here. And I think you were coming at it from two different points, you know, because by the time you get into your uh, leaked uh, DMs, you would it really seems like you were going hard at him. But that was because he got really defensive because that's where he is. He's in this defensive stage right now where he doesn't want to hear it. He doesn't want to hear the truth. He doesn't think that he needs the help that he needs. So he really went back hard at you. So, I saw it as the you know, tough love. Flash, Mark, was throwing, yeah. fro- Flash was throwing out the tough love. That's what I yeah. saw. And it's like, yeah, yeah. Right, we, we've got these allegations. We've got these reports. We've got all this stuff now, Nick. Like, what the fuck? It's sort of like. Yeah, all the- right. So I'm going to pull it up. I was going to stay out of this mostly. I just want to say this one part thing part. is apparent real quick. Yes, it's one thing to expect a 15, 16, 17-year-old to be able to take care of themselves. That's one thing. It's another thing to expect that same 15, 16, 17-year-old to be taking care of four other fucking kids. It is not their responsibility. Boom. That's Thank it. you. And the That's only it. thing I was going to say, Mark, is, yeah, I understand your point, but if you're 16 and all of a sudden, that nothing like this has ever happened before, boom, figure it out. That's tough for adults to figure out. So for no a 16-year-old no kid, doubt. just... Hey, we're throwing you in the fourth quarter. It's like I didn't have a chance to prepare. I never prepared for this. I never anticipated this. You know, okay, yeah, he understands to take a shower, but at what point, like, okay, well, how do I make sure there's food coming? How do I make sure they're taken care of? How do I arrange for all the other like there's a million things, like, okay, yeah, maybe he took a shower, but that's about it. And Sean, you know, I get the fact that mm-hmm. Ethan, I think elaborated further on this Mm -hmm. where he said that hey look you know my parents had similar afflictions Mm -hmm. and i I might be mistaken but i think that's what he was talking about and he had to go through this and do this himself but i'm like look understand that if you did that that you're an exception to the rule a lot of kids go through that and it fucks them forever and that exactly and that was that was 30 years ago 40 years ago for Mm -hmm. ethan we're talking about in 2024 when the kids today all right, let's let's face it. Do y'all exactly. think? And I, like I said, I'm a father of three teenagers now, between 13 and 19. Mm. I can tell you right now, the kids today, they ain't got nothing on us from the fucking 70s and 80s. Nothing, mm. nothing. No yeah. It's a sure. totally different era. It's not the same now as it was back then. So, I mean, I I I can kind of understand what he's trying to say there. Like, oh, okay, I went through this. I get it. But mm-hmm. this is not the same situation. Um, and when you've got two parents, two parents with that many kids in the house, 
This is nightmare fuel, man. Absolute nightmare fuel. And I wouldn't even begin to try to put any onus on these children mm -hmm. for like, well, they could have stepped up. Dude, no. 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 Let's not yeah, go there. Fucking stupid take. Yeah. All right, real quick. The we elusive for 20 says, as someone with alcoholics on both sides of my family, I know very well Nick's substance abuse isn't the problem. It's a symptom until he deals with whatever it is. He's using the drugs to suppress. He cannot be helped. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Hundred percent. To be uh, to 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 be to to be clear in that too. There are professionals that are involved now. So you know, any I'm not saying they will fix all the damage or anything else, but mm -hmm. as far as the discussion of what Nick can or cannot do, Nick's choice is to clean himself up to the point that he well, can he be the person. He, yeah. He. It, I mean, they're gonna. They're gonna they're gonna put him under a microscope for it too. They are so when he gets to the point, if you can self care, then you can take care of other people. So mm -hmm. you can't like that. Addiction is a horrible, horrible thing. Alcoholism is truly horrible because of its availability. You know the other stuff. Oh, yeah. I'm not saying one is worse than the other as far as chemicals, but I'm saying the availability. I mean, it's just it's always in your face. You walk in the store. You know, all of us have to get fucking gas and then we go to the grocery store that's always there 